But as for the everyday Muslim, there's no Muslim, and there's no person, human, being, Muslim, no matter what religion, except that he carries some harm and some transgression, sometimes for some of the people, right? As that's the nature of this dunya, the nature of this world is it's flawed, and the people in this world are flawed, and they harm you, and that's what it means to live in this world. To be realistic, we can't say, we live in this world, and I want all my rights upheld all of the time by all people around me. What kind of test is that in this life? What kind of dunya, what kind of test is that for a servant to be given companions all around him and everyone respects him and honors him and never ever causes any harm for him? That's not the dunya that we live in. That's not real. That's not real. Now some of you brothers, you come to this class specifically or you listen to the recordings and you say, I needed this. This is the class I've been needing. As if to say you're special in how much you've been abused and oppressed. Save the drama. You're one of every of the everyday Muslims. You get oppressed and abused like everybody else. Your wife said something to you, and your children abused you, and uh, your brother said a word of disrespect to you, and someone stole some of your property, and someone did something. This is what life is about. You're not special. This is what everyone needs. Everyone needs to be reminded about patience. And that's why Allah Ta'ala has made it like this. Well, Asr, He swore by time, the Asr time, the afternoon time. Inna al mankind is in loss. All of them are in loss. Illa. Except for some people. Illa ladina amanu wa amilu salihat. Except for those who believe and work righteous deeds. Watawasaw bil haqqi. And they admonish each other towards the truth. And they admonish each other to be patient because that's part of our life that we deal with transgressions and oppressions. And we're not innocent. As you remember the first point or the earlier points in the book is to think about your own transgressions and think about the people's treatment of you as being directly correlated to your obedience to Allah. How obedient are you to Allah? How much do you honor Allah and respect Allah's limits and stop where He has forbidden you from doing things in secret, in private, and in the open? And we know our, ourselves more than anyone else. And that's coming up. More of that kind of talk is coming up later in the book that we shall enjoy, inshaAllah ta'ala. So don't think you're special that, you know, this is a class for you and all of that. This class is for every Muslim and every person. No, and Allah ta'ala knows best. So real... Tranquility of the soul comes with excusing people and letting things go for the people who deserve that treatment. The average everyday Muslim. The person could falsely imagine that excusing others is a kind of humiliation for himself or a belittlement of himself.